We have some absolutely fascinating details about how Ivanka Trump and Kevin McCarthy and other people close to Donald Trump are calling him an insane lunatic and in some cases have done so directly to his face saying that his lies and delusions are harming him, those close to him and broader society. And so a lot of this goes back to January 6 and how people felt that Donald Trump clearly all of his absolute insanity was starting to have real damaging effects on everyone. I want to read you an excerpt first from McCarthy, then we'll cover Ivanka. It says here, the book details a private call McCarthy had with Trump the night before Biden's inauguration. According to Woodward and Costa, McCarthy told Trump, quote, I don't know what's happened to you in the last two months. You're not the same as you were for the last few years. And then he goes on, I'm not going to read the whole thing, to basically beg and plead Trump to stop the craziness, to get him himself together to call Joe Biden because if he doesn't, it's going to hurt his own legacy and the Republican Party, blah, 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 blah. And similarly, Ivanka was begging and pleading her insane dad to stop doing what he was doing. It says here, Ivanka Trump repeatedly implored her father, then President Donald Trump, to disavow his claims about the 2020 election as he watched news coverage of the January 6th riot at the Capitol. Washington Post associate reporter, editor Bob Woodward and reporter Porter Robert Costa note in their book Peril that she said to let this thing go, let it go. And so all of this is showing that even favorite daughter Ivanka is like, Daddy, you're going crazy. Daddy, this has gone on too far. And I want to get a couple things really clear here. This is not meant to exonerate Kevin McCarthy and Ivanka Trump, because remember, both of them, especially on that day and since that day, have done nothing to criticize Donald Trump. And Kevin McCarthy has fully endorsed the radical right wing of the Republican Party who are trying to revise the history of that day to downplay it. And Ivanka on that day, if you remember, called the rioters patriots. She didn't call them the thugs they were. She called them patriots and then got called out and deleted the tweet. And we also have to remember remember that these books are also being sourced in a way that a lot of people can throw Donald Trump under the bus to save their own reputations. Nonetheless, I don't think this is false. I think that for selfish reasons, they both said the truth, which is that Donald Trump is undergoing severe mental decline, that his paranoia and insanity were dangerous, and that he was a risk to himself to his family, to his party, and to the whole country. Keep this in mind going forward, that while Donald Trump is getting a lot of public praise in the Republican Party, behind the scenes, they know he is nuts. They know he is a dangerous egomaniac. This isn't the only source. A lot of other sources in the past few days have been talking about how Republicans privately admit this dude is off his rocker. And again, Ivanka's actions speak louder than words. Her silence is deafening. There's a reason why she has left daddy. She's not a hero. She doesn't deserve praise, but there's a reason she's basically cut daddy out of her life because she doesn't want to be brought down the drain with the egomaniac. Again, I don't think McCarthy and Ivanka deserve salvation. Both of them likely belong behind bars with Donald Trump. But if his closest friends and family and allies are saying this behind the scenes, it's true. Donald Trump is an insane maniac and should never have power again.